That's right. Big B. Snow. Come with me. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm. She's dead. What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Not a clue who that is either. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Does. Oh, well, he, he was no use anyway. So we have a jacket. We're going to stare at intently. And hoping, like most things in this, it will talk to me. Nope. Oh. Oh shit. No. Well, I knew someone was gonna die, but not that one. You this girl? <laughs> Is... She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. A working girl? A working girl? I don't... I mean, I'm a working... Oh. <laughs> Woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going Everyone on. Everyone panic! Or not, you know. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Uh, well, that's his chances of getting laid at the window. And I gave this bitch money. Uh, let's check the next. Strange what cut. kind of cuts? What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp. Or something with magic attached to it. So a magical axe is pretty much in the frame there. Is ticket? Ticket? What ticket. is? Grenade! It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Wasn't there some kind of story about an, a woman who was wearing a ribbon and if she took it off her head would fall off? Anyway. Maybe she on. was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed. For us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Well, there's plenty to choose from. I don't know, I was pretty drunk. I don't think it was me. I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what 
What do you want to do next? I want to do something. Uh, we still have around. some time. I should keep investigating the area. Especially okay. that blood spot that I saw a second ago. Uh, yes. Let's touch it. Yeah, touch the blood. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. Okay, let's start from down here. We have some kind of fabric. No signs that it's been here long. Uh, let's pick it up. Point and click adventure games, fabric. people. Pick up like everything. Doesn't tell me much. Uh, trash can. There's some loose trash. That, however, yeah, much more interesting. More blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Unless it was a head hopping around. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to get past this way. Yep, let's step on the evidence. Not like I'm going to be calling forensics in here or anything. Uh, I won't get down the prostitute and giving head joke. Oh wait, did I just do it? Nah. Um. Well, other than standing here looking aggressive, I don't think there's much else I can do here. Uh. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. Nope, not you. I'm going to be running around this game just going, does it matter? We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Um, it's just so awful. Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? I found blood on the fence back there. Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. Crane. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Hmm. It's all rather grim. But um. What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm, that didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. 
pleasant people all round. Yes, I see. I, I... You, because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Back off, Ichabod. It's not oh, her fault. Ichabod I don't crying. need your help, Bigby. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. <laughs> massage. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. But, but I wanted to tell him, you know, fuck you. Oh. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. <sighs> well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Fuck Crane. Never mind. Smoke away. Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Flying monkey! With wine! Excellent. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It's it was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Something crazily scary about those eyes. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. It's a bit like Discworld the librarian. There's bound to be information on her here somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Poke around. Uh, uh, I really have to get this appointment squared away, uh, but let me know if you need anything. Okay. Hello, Ooh, lamp. Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Crane's... So, Warehouse 13. Worth a try. Oh, that's yes. disappointing. Magic lamps are Pretty much just lamps, after the genie's been freed. Yes, I mean, I question it only due to the amount. It seemed a bit... Right. <laughs> cool effect on the mirror. Looking... Hey, magic mirror. What? I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. 
You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yep. Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Uh... I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Oh, that's useful. Let's go for Woodsman. Show me the Woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Useful. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! <laughs> show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. <laughs> uh, I think we're done here. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Oh, here he comes. Graceful. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Well... Uh, I suppose we can have a look at these books. Swords means what it's supposed to mean. Okay, we have books, books, books. Let's go for the one that's open. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Uh, so, Beauty and the Beast, Woodsman, me! Ah, oh, isn't he cute? Red Riding Hood. Oh fuck, the dwarves look menacing. Pigs. Ichabod. Badger. Toad and Toad Hall. Not familiar with this one. The Ring. Ah. We know who this is. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Let's have a look. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Go, monkey! Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so, uh... There we go. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as... <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Hmm. Prince Lawrence of Arabia? We got what we came for. No. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. Well, actually, I kind of think it may be the husband, but there we go. I'm just as suspicious about people like that. Uh, they say in police dramas that most of the time in murder cases, the, uh,. Spouse is definitely number one on their list of suspects. So, what am I doing? I'm currently wandering around aimlessly. Um, right, let's ask this dude. Go, okay, Magic Mirror, go! You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. So, let's uh, talk to him. Mirror, about mirror, the blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. <laughs> of which fable do you wish to know? Uh, Prince Lawrence. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Oh. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Uh, let's go with the father. Show me... Faith's father, the old king. Oh, he's been dead a while. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Show me... Show me Faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. Yeah, I thought it's that not was my choice of phrasing. Phrase. It's simply the way this has to be. Okay. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah. That'll have to do for now. Come on. We're going over there. Banana phone. Sorry. I have to get that. Fix it up, then boom. Hello, Woodland's business office. What? No yes. boom? I... He is. 
Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Poe. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, well, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! Uh, that's not good. What was good. that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Okay. I'm ready. Let's go. Ladies first. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Uh, let's go Bigby. help Toad. It's me, Toad. Big B. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going to. Let's go. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse than the day. Is somebody up there? Uh, let's not give away our Wait position right here. Now. Time for another trip out the window! Unproductive. I'm sorry. That's enough, all right. Just shut it. <laughs> I don't even remember half of this shit. Should probably get that fixed. Ah, what's that picture? No. I want to check out stuff. Damn you! Woodsman never did much reading anyway. Big hole in wall. Let's have a look at it. Nope, nothing interesting. What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? Right, let's go give Toad some shit. Son? Toads? I think. Be nice in there, okay? I'll try. Hey, Toad! You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. Lying! So, you know, false alarm. 
sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you alright? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. <laughs>